Well, it is March, and that means that we are getting closer to spring as well as St. Patrick's Day. So green tends to be the theme in the month of March. Today we are making a green goddess dressing, and we're using avocado as the base and the creaminess for this dressing rather than mayonnaise. So stick around, I'm Judy Matusky. I'm a registered dietitian and culinary nutritionist with Athens Nutrition, where we are always cooking fast and we are cooking light and we try to use around five-ish ingredients just to keep things simple. So thanks for joining. We're gonna get right into it. We're making this dressing. I'm gonna be using a blender and that is it. So it is no fuss, easy cleanup, and just a few ingredients. So let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna do. Um, we're using an avocado, as I mentioned, that's gonna be our creamy base. That's gonna be the fat that's gonna really bring that luscious texture to this green goddess dressing. And um, we're using some scallions and we're gonna use a whole bunch of fresh herbs because I just love them and I think we all should be using them more frequently. And we're gonna end up with this absolutely gorgeous dressing or dip. You can use it either way and we'll show you, I'll show you that at the end. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just take your ripe avocado and um, for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with you, how to slice an avocado, you just take your knife and kind of go right around the seed or the, you know, that, um, the pit in the middle. Oh, this is like a teeny tiny one. Usually they're so much bigger. All right, and then you've got your nice half of your avocado. And then to get this, the, to get the pit out, you're just gonna take your knife and just twist it. And that's gonna pull out the pit really easily. And then you can just discard that. All right, and then, um, uh, then you're just taking a spoon and it's so easy to release the flesh from the skin. You're just gonna, you know, get your spoon in here and just sort of scoop it around and we're just gonna put it right in the blender because again, that's the beauty of this, of this uh, recipe is that everything, everything goes into the blender. So that's, that's um, I love these kind of recipes where you don't have to use a whole bunch of different bowls. All right, so we're gonna use the whole avocado. So this is just one ripe, you know, medium, your average avocado. I think this is a Haas avocado, um, which is pretty typical of the, of the type of avocados you're gonna find. Um, and then we're gonna continue just to add the remaining ingredients. I have um, some scallions. It calls for two. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use three because I had to cut the, the tips off of the scallion because it was starting to get a little bit um, a little bit dried out. So I'm just gonna just chop these just into, you know, fairly big pieces and they're gonna go in. Now, when it comes to the herbs, you're, there's a lot of flexibility with a green goddess dressing because you'll see different recipes and they're using all different kinds of herbs. The one herb that is very traditional in Greek goddess is tarragon. Now, I don't have fresh tarragon to show you. It was impossible to find. I think I went to three supermarkets and then just a produce market and they had a lot of fresh herbs but no fresh tarragon. Not sure why, but it wasn't there. Um, tarragon is like a, it's a French herb. It's used in a lot of French cooking. It also has an anise flavor, so a very light sort of anise licorice flavor. I love it. I know it can be a little polarizing for some people. Some people, if they try it, they don't really like it. It's sort of like cilantro in that way. I love it, but a little bit goes a long way. So we're gonna, we would be using a couple of tablespoons or maybe just about a quarter of a cup of fresh tarragon in this recipe. Um, but since I don't have the fresh tarragon, I'm gonna go ahead and substitute dry and I'll just use a whole lot less. So it's gonna be maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon, but not, but not a whole lot more, because this, this is a pretty strong herb. All right, so that's the one herb that is traditional that goes in, but we would prefer it to be fresh. Uh, I'm going to throw in a bunch of parsley. And again, all of these are green, so that's what's gonna to lend to this, you know, great green color. So we have that going in. And here's where kind of you could use other herbs as well. I happen to have, as I mentioned in my other previous video, because we're growing herbs in our greenhouse, I have some beautiful chives. So I'm just gonna chop these up just a little bit smaller and they're gonna go right in. And then I also have um, some fresh dill. I don't think I'm gonna use all of this dill, but maybe about half of it. And remember, when it comes to herbs, please don't throw away your stems. You can chop these up and add them to salads. You, I, I could certainly use them in here. I just don't want to overpower it with too much dill. Um, you can add them to soups and stews. You can make, you can add them to pestos. So please use the herbs. They're a little bit, you know, they're a little obviously tougher than the leaves are, but they have as much, if not more flavor. 
All right, so don't waste those. All right, so I'm gonna throw the, I'm gonna throw this little bunch of, of dill in. And I don't know, like the, the recipe, this is a pet recipe from Ellie Krieger, who's a dietitian that, uh, and chef that I follow a lot of her recipes. I modified it a little bit, but it's, because you can mix and match some of these herbs, it's about, I don't know, a total of maybe a half a cup to a cup of herbs that's gonna go into this, into the dressing. Uh, but it, I don't, again, when I make it, you know, like a lot of my recipes, I don't really always measure. It's just whatever I have and whatever looks good. But if you, you know, want to follow the recipe, I think it calls for like probably a half a cup total, but I think you could easily go up to about a full cup of fresh herbs. Um, but I would just keep the dill, uh, the tarragon, just a little bit of, the, of, the, of that herb ratio to be tarragon. The rest of it would be the other herbs. Okay. So that's going to go in. Now we're just adding, it calls for some white wine vinegar. I have white uh, balsamic. You, it, I think it's two, I'm going to just check the recipe. I think it's two tablespoons. No, three tablespoons. All right, so we're going to put three tablespoons in. You could, um, the, this vinegar, um, it's mostly the white. It's, the white's what we're looking for because we don't really want like a balsamic, a regular balsamic because it's just so dark in color and it's not going to, you're not going to get the, the same pretty green hue that we're, we're trying to achieve with this dressing. So white, if you don't have white wine or white balsamic, I would just use just straight white vinegar. That would be perfectly fine as well. But we do need that in there as a, a little more acidity. And then the next ingredient is gonna be buttermilk. And I'm gonna take a few minutes just to talk about buttermilk because I absolutely love buttermilk. And I know we all have heard of it, but we, a lot of us don't really know how to use it or even maybe what it is. And buttermilk was traditionally the, the liquid that was sort of left over after butter was churned. So when you take milk and cream and you churn it and you turn it into butter, all of the fat from the, from the dairy fat goes into the butter. And what's left over is like the liquid left over from the butter, which was used to make buttermilk. And it, traditionally it was sort of fermented over time and it would get a little, you know, take on that tangy tart, acidic kind of, of of, of flavor, but that's not really how it's made commercially. It's commercially, so today it's pretty much made just from milk. But like yogurt, you know, there's bacteria added to it. So there's some probiotic benefits from using um, buttermilk, just like it would be if you were just as if you're eating yogurt. The other thing is traditional yog traditional buttermilk was always almost fat free. I mean, very low fat because all the fat went into making the butter. Today, commercial brands can vary a little bit. So traditionally, we always used to think, oh, buttermilk is always low in fat, but you can get full fat buttermilk. And I think, again, when we're talking about dairy fats, the, we seem to believe that at this point that a little less dairy fat is probably better. So you're just kind of looking for low fat buttermilk. You probably aren't gonna get it lower than that. Just low fat buttermilk is great. Um, and it does have the probiotic bacteria, that healthy bacteria, which is fantastic. And you can use buttermilk. So if you buy it to make this dressing, use it to put in your smoothies. Use it like you would yogurt. It's just gonna be a thinner version of yogurt. So it's great in smoothies. I just used some the other day. I, I just, I had a whole bunch of the herbs and I just chopped up a whole bunch of herbs, put it in the buttermilk. I added a little bit of mayonnaise um, just to thicken it a little. And then I just whipped it up and I had this great little herb sauce that I've been using pretty much all week all over on most things. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can use it up once you buy it. So. If you've not ventured into the buttermilk world, I would really recommend giving it a try. Um, I even like to drink it, and I know that's, it's almost like drinking kefir. If you've ever had that, that's that liquid, almost a liquid version of yogurt. Very similar. So this takes about a cup and a half of uh, buttermilk that I already have measured out. And then the only other thing left to add, I think, right? I'm going to check my bottle. Yeah, everything. Now it's just going to be about a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to say two pretty big finger pinches here of that. And that's it. So now, once this comes together, we should have a really pretty green sauce or dressing to, to use in a lot of different ways. All right, so again, this is always happens, you know, it gets loud, let me just get this on. It's a little bit thick, because the, the buttermilk is on the thick side. So let me just grab my tamper here and I'm just going to tamp this down a little bit just so I can get those, those herbs. Now I did put in 
I did put in more herbs than the recipe calls for because I just love it really, real, real, a little bit more herby. And so it's gonna make it a little bit thicker and that's okay, it just depends on how you wanna use it. So if you wanna use it as a dip, which is a great way to use this Green Goddess dressing, because it has, a, it, it's got a good flavor to it, so you don't necessarily want it overpowering delicate, like delicate maybe lettuce, lettuce leaves, but like romaine and, and use it as a dip for um, a whole bunch of chopped fe uh, fresh vegetables would be great. It can, it can withstand that. Um, it also, you can make it thinner or thicker and that's just gonna be how much buttermilk you wanna add. All right, so let me just get this going real quick and we'll... I'm gonna show you this because it's just so pretty. This is nice and thick. So like I said, I could thin this down a little bit more if I wanted to um, use this more as a as a looser kind of dressing. Um, but I think the texture of this is just perfect. I, I prefer it on the thicker side. So isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And so that fat that we're using in here is from the avocado, which is a very healthy, monounsaturated, heart healthy fat. So we're using that in replacement for mayonnaise, which is fine, mayonnaise is a, is, is a healthy fat too, but it's just a little more nutritional value coming from the fresh avocado than just the mayonnaise by itself. Um, and then we're adding the buttermilk for some tang and creaminess as well, and also some probiotic value. And then of course, all of the incredible flavor and nutrition from the fresh herbs. So if you want, then this is like a great little thing. So if you wanna use it as a dip, you know, you can have some different um, peppers that you can dip in and you can, all, you can use all your fresh vegetables. If you, I love it over just like, if you wanted to do this with just some fresh romaine, like a nice crispy lettuce, would be fantastic. So if you just take some of this and just spoon it right on top, that's fantastic as well. It really has a nice, fresh, you know, herby, um, herby flavor, it's a uh, smell. It smells so good. All right, so that's your green goddess. There's a green dressing. This is sort of our third dre our dressing sauce in our series. We've been doing a couple of different simple sauces. We did chimichurri as one. We did um, the carrot like ginger dressing as, a, as another sauce or dressing. And now this is our third one. And this is the avocado green goddess dressing. So if you enjoy these videos, please share them with others. We would love that. And keep on the lookout um, for our upcoming culinary nutrition workshops. We're gonna have a couple of them coming up in April and in May. So if you're not on our mailing list, jump over to AthensNutrition.com so that you can give us your email and we'll make sure you get that information. All right, so stay well, thanks for joining and we'll see you next week.